Now, Pat, and before you go, I would love to try a little hot take debate. And this is Ooh. where we are going to debate very seriously about perhaps not so serious issues, but to us they might be. And, and this is going to be fantasy themed because I've heard you're a huge fantasy fan. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready for, for, ready for this? The first one. Oh, I'm ready. Who should have sat on the Iron Throne in Game of Thrones? <clears throat> Patton, if you don't mind, I will go first here. This is not my opinion. I feel like this is what probably happened and then some psychopath changed the script because this is 100% what the entire series led up to and that is none other than Daenerys Targaryen sitting on the Iron Throne. She had to get her brother killed, okay? Yep. She had to learn many languages. She started from nothing and as Drake says, started from the bottom, now we hear, where's the here? She never got her here, okay? And this narrative of a woman cannot lead because she'll turn crazy is one I do not subscribe to personally. My final right. point will be that throughout the entire series, she's in many horrific situations, but her hairstyles are always popping. And if that is not a queen that should sit on the Iron Throne, I don't know what is. I would, I'm gonna agree with you with an asterisk. I think it should have been about, she gains the throne because she absolutely, even, even, by the way, I would even argue that even when she goes crazy, that is part of her leadership. Like there were people in order for the kingdom to advance that kind of needed to be wiped out. There were mm -hmm. people, they were the equivalents of vaccine deniers and flat earthers going, there's no zombie horde, there's no white walkers. Well, maybe we need to get, maybe we need to get rid of those people if we're gonna, if we're gonna evolve and show that it goes beyond male or female. It's about power goes beyond that stuff. And it has nothing to do with sex anymore. It just has to do with who has the nerve to get there. And I'm sorry, they set up over and over and over again that she absolutely had the nerve to get there. You thought about this very thoroughly. I very thought very I thoroughly. thought about it thoroughly, but you took it next level here. Okay, next one for you. You can start on this one. What is the worst Hogwarts house to be sorted into? Please. I'm, uh, oh, I'm torn here. Okay, wait a minute. Because my, obviously the first thing you want to say is, is uh, Slytherin would be the worst one because uh, they're all evil and everything. But maybe Gryffindor is the worst one because you're expected to be the bravest, to go up against the biggest threat. Maybe good in the short run because you're around good people. But as far as your longevity, um, it's not, you know, that, that tends to be the cannon fodder house. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I'm gonna completely agree with you. I think Gryffindor is the worst house because you have big shoes to fill. You will get no spotlight in that house. No. You're gonna fill the shoes of Harry Potter? Stop, oh, you would never. Right. You could never fill the shoes of Harry Potter. That's ridiculous to even think about. So I completely agree. I want the oh spotlight. God. So I would want to be in a Hufflepuff and the yeah, best be, Hufflepuff. Being in a, yes, exactly. Being put in Gryffindor house is like be, being like um, the touring keyboardist with the Rolling Stones. No one cares about you. Okay, last one, and you can start on this one. The best okay. Yoda in Star Wars. God. Everyone loves little baby Grogu, but I gotta say, it's it's the Yoda in Empire. It was the it's because they made a frigging rubber puppet that was voiced by the guy that did Miss Piggy. So it's the sequel to the biggest movie of all time, and and the whole second act hinges on can the guy who voices Miss Piggy work this rubber puppet and make us care about it and they pulled it off. Well, I gotta tell you one, my camera operator just nodded behind the camera and was Ooh. like, yes, yes. Now, I have to also tell you that I don't even know what this question means. My producer oh, told here me to we ask, go. my producer told me to ask this question. I have no rebuttal. I know nothing about this. So this you win. Classic, this is the classic hot girl. I don't know what this Star Wars thing is. Am I hot? Oh, I will take it. I will <laughs> take it through and through. Pat, and thank you so much for being here. You are such a joy. I wish you nothing but the most success. Make sure if you're watching this at home, you check out Patton's comedy special this Saturday. You can get your tickets on Rush Ticks. You don't want to miss it. You? I'm, I'm going to quote Lily's horrible statement. Buffets are going to become political. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ben.